everyone. I wanted to take today's tech talk to basically talk about something that keeps coming up. I, I had a client today and it came up with them. It's something that is really on the forefront of, of the technology and internet, say industry or space, but I find that a lot of people don't really know about it, don't know what it is, and don't really have a firm understanding of how it affects their lives, their devices, and, and their general technology or internet usage. That topic is malware. So malware is a form of a virus and, and what it actually is is when a file or I mean usually it's a file is placed onto a host device. That host device could be a PC, it could be a tablet, a laptop, uh, it could be a smartphone. Uh, you're seeing, a, well you may not be seeing but I'll, I'll put some links in the description below a lot of Android devices are being infected with malware nowadays and Google has made great efforts in, the, in actually within the past week or so to really start to cut down on infected apps within their app store, within the Android app store, which is essentially the Google Play store, and basically cut back on the overall malware that is being downloaded onto devices, onto Android devices. The problem with malware is that once these files are placed onto the infected devices, it, gain, it basically grants access for people who have created those files or people who control or, or have access to those files. It, it allows them to access your device. And, and when I say access your device, they can either access the information on your device, which you know obviously is a, is a horrible thing. Your passwords, your credit card information, all, all of your secure data would essentially be on there. Obviously not something you want. It can either do that or what it can do is use your device or use your computer to essentially take control and infect other computers, other websites, you know, it, it, is, it essentially just spreads. So um, one thing that malware is actually pretty commonly used for is DDoS attacks. And I'll put some links in the description below as well, basically describing what a DDoS attack is. But what, simply put, what it is, is a bunch of devices, a bunch of computers, all having internet access would essentially go to, uh, or essentially hit a website or hit a website's IP address and because of the mass, mass amount of people or the volume of people that are infected with, with malware and, and having their devices you know, take, taken control of, the vast amount of people hitting that website, essentially the website will crash or the database of the website will crash. So malware is a huge issue and it, it's, it's becoming more so of an issue because people tend to not have their devices or their computers secured. There's a lot of great software you could use to secure your devices. I'll put more links in the description. If you can keep it secure, you're, you're less at risk for being infected by malware. One thing that I would like to note is that malware is not something that is, let's say, easy, easily pre preventable because you'll have large organizations, even recently, such as Apple, Microsoft, you know, these guys are being infected and attacked. Actually, uh, Apple was recently attacked and a victim of malware and there's still sort of speculations as to where it was coming from. Some say Eastern Europe, some say China. But basically what had happened was their devices were infected within Apple's network. Now that's a huge issue just because it's, it's obviously supposed to be a secure company. So what I really want to get at is checking out some of these tools will help protect you and in, tour, in turn help protect others. It'll help protect others online, it'll help protect other websites that potentially could get hacked, crashed, or infected from you browsing to them. It, it's, it's really, there's no harm in installing the software and, and I do recommend doing so. One other note is if you have a website and you have been infected by malware in the past or you have concerns of being infected by malware, what I'd recommend checking out is it's actually uh, let's say it's a web-based software or it, it's a community of, of basically anti-hackers, let's call them, that have come together and created this service which is called Cloudflare. I'll put the link in the description below. You can set up your site on Cloudflare for free or you can upgrade to their paid service for additional security. I highly recommend doing so. All of my websites are hooked up with Cloudflare and it's a great service that will help protect you and your website from malware attacks. Links in the description. Take a look. Have any questions? Comment below. Oh. Comment below. Let me know. Let's start talking. Have a great Wednesday.